the parents of Bruce Parker. Champions of character, gold institution, Point University along with the Southern States Athletic Conference and the NAIA would like to remind our student athletes, coaches, officials, and fans to always demonstrate our champions of character, five core values of integrity, respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, and servant leadership, which create a positive and competitive environment. Please enjoy today's contest. Now for the starting lineups. First, for the Barons. Leading off and playing left field, number 18, Carson Kirby. Batting second and playing shortstop, number seven, Kyron Coleman. Batting third and playing third base, number six, Tate Worrell. Batting fourth and playing right field, number eight, Kennard Dawson. Batting fifth and playing designated hitter, number 21, Michael Sun. Batting sixth and playing second base, number nine, Jacob Mantu. Batting seventh and playing first base, number 22, Jordan Ron. Batting eighth and playing catcher, number 16, Jack Morris. Batting ninth and playing center field, number 13, Kendall Wade. And on the mound for the Barons, number 30, Brandon Russell. The Barons are coached by Aaron Larson, who is assisted by Connor Melton, Chase Howe, and Dakota Connell. Now for the starting lineup for your Point University Skyhawks. Leading off and playing first base, number 10, Danny Gonzalez. Batting second and playing third base, number 21, Jason Dower. Batting third and playing left field, number 8, Slay Me. Batting fourth and playing catcher, number 13, Alex Marquand. Batting fifth and playing center field, number two, Silas Butler. Batting sixth and playing right field, number one, Kenny Jackson. Batting seventh and playing designated hitter, number 33, Zeb Baird. Batting eighth and playing second base, number three, Mason Davis. Batting ninth and playing shortstop, number 11, Sam Baker. And on the mound for your Skyhawks, number 32, Dom Lopez. The Skyhawks are coached by John Tyler, who is assisted by Kelton Caldwell and Adam Castillo. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation followed by the playing of our national anthem. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the blessings of life you have bestowed upon us. Lord, we are thankful for the institutions of education that are represented on the field today. We pray that you will watch over each player, keep them free from harm's way, and allow each to compete to the best of their ability. Lead, guide, and direct us according to your will. In Christ's name, amen.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Game 2 broadcast on Skyhawk Sports Network. This is the voice of Deshaun Bullock. As we come back on a beautiful day at the West Point Park baseball field, Point University is coming off a 10-4 win over Bruton Parker in that Game 1 last night, 9-inning game. Bruton Parker looking to tie the series and hopefully try to go for the sweep today to really steal it away from Point University. And for Point University, they're looking to take both games, go for the sweep, and continue their winning streak. Their winning streak is at nine games right now, 29-14 overall in the season, 15-10 in SSAC play. Bruton Parker coming in 17-25 overall, 9-16 SSAC play. Let's look at, some, look at our lineups for Point University. Leading off, you will have number 10, Danny Gonzalez. He will be playing first base. Batting second, you'll have number 21, Jason Dower. He's on third. Batting third, you'll have number eight, Slade Mink. He'll be in the left field. And batting fourth, you'll have your catcher, number 13, Alex Marquand. Batting fifth, you'll have number two, your center fielder, Silas Butler. Batting sixth, you'll have number one, Kenny Jackson. He is in right field. Your designated hitter, batting seventh, will be Zeb Baird. Batting eighth will be your second baseman, number three, Mason Davis. Batting ninth will be your shortstop, Sam Baker. And on the mound after that first pitch is going to be number 32, Dom Lopez. So that second pitch was called a ball. For Point University, again, they are on a nine-game winning streak right now. They are starting to really light it up as Point University looking to go ahead and get that first out. Dom Lopez with the 1-3 put out. First out of the inning. Now batting, number seven, Iron Coleman. We'll look at the lineup real quick for Bruton Parker. Your leading off will be your left fielder. That was Carson Kirby. At bat right now is your shortstop, number seven, Kyron Coleman. Third baseman batting third, number six, Tate Worrell. Batting fourth, right fielder, number eight, Kennard Dawson. Batting fifth is your designated hitter, number 21, Michael Sam. Well, Michael Sun. Batting six is second baseman number nine, Jacob Mantooth. Batting seventh is the first baseman number 22, Jacob Ron. Batting eighth is the catcher number 16, Jack Morris. Batting ninth is center fielder number 13, Kendall Wade. And on the mound today for Bruton Parker is number 30, Brandon Russell. So as right now, you have a 0-2 count, one out on the board. Dom Lopez takes that pitch. And Coleman will split between third and short. That will be the first base hit of this inning. I get him on base. That'll be the first hit of this game. Now batting, number six, Tate Worrell. Should look at Tate Worrell. He'll be up to bat. Tate Royals coming in today with the 331 batting average. That first pitch was called ball 1 0 count. As Royal will hit that in the outfield, Slade Meat will camp under that. That will be the second out for quick F7. So now you're going to have Kennard Dawson who is coming in. Kennard Dawson ended up with three hits in yesterday's contest. One of the batters that 
was three for four, had one RBI, two runs, looking to continue his streak of hits. As Lopez would take that pitch, that will be on the inside for a ball, 1-0 count. Look at Bruton Parker. They had 10 hits yesterday, collected four runs, one error. But you also look at Point University. They had 13 hits, ended up with 10 runs. If you're Point University, you want to continue that streak. Again, what John Tyler and Kelton Caldwell and Adam Castillo really emphasized for this team is consistency. It's starting to really come into play. So as that last hit was fouled off. Again, also today is a special day. We have senior day that will be going on today. Right now it's projected it could be either after this first game, but we also have a chance with rain coming in the area, it could be after game two of the day. So we'll keep you all in the loop, and we'll make sure to keep the audio on. So for anyone that is not here, they will get to hear it as Marquand throws that the throws it for the caught still, and that is going to be the third out as we end off this inning. Three outs. And with that, we will be right back here with Skyhawk Sports Network. And welcome back. As we're in the bottom of the first, you have number 10, Danny Gonzalez, your first baseman. He went two for four yesterday with three runs, was walked one time, two RBIs. On the mound today, you have number 30, Brandon Russell, ERA 5'10". He is two for two. He's made 10 appearances, started nine games, giving up 40 hits, 31 runs. He's walked 28 people, has 49 strikeouts. So as that first pitch was called a ball, he'll now go for this next pitch. As that last one was hitting the foul territory. Again, Danny Gonzalez, he's made he's made a different appearance, really. He's just a natural infielder. You can move him anywhere. He's played second base, he's played third, and now he's made the move to first. So the versatility of Danny Gonzalez is why you have to keep him on the field. As you'll have the quick 
5-3 put out. That will now give you your next batter, which would be number 21, Jason Dower. Jason Dower went one for four yesterday. Had one RBI, was walked one time, had one run. Jason Dower is going to be one of the seniors that will be honored. Go ahead and give you a quick rundown of all the seniors that will be honored today. You have number three, Mason Davis. Number five, Sage McWaters. Number eight, Slade Meek. Number 13, Alex Marquan. Number 15, Austin Tebow. Number 21, Jason Dower. 22, Cam Sauer. Number 24, Gene Aberrett. Number 25, Trent Shepard. Number 32, Dom Lopez. Number 33, Zeb Barrett. And number 38, Ben Beasley. If you want to know what count of that is, that is 12 seniors that will be honored today. Last pitch was called a strike, 0-2 count. Each senior that will be honored has made such a significant impact to this program academically and in an athletic perspective. It's that last pitch thrown on the outside. That will be called a ball, 1-2 count. For the Skyhawks with baseball, again, John Tyler's motto, it's been one team, one goal. As today is the last home SSAC doubleheader. And next weekend will be the regular season finale weekend series. They will be going to Montgomery, Alabama. Battle of Highway 85, that will be against Faulkner University. Faulkner University, number one in the SSAC. Point University right now sitting at number four in the SSAC, 15 and 10. So right now you have a full count. Go ahead and look at the update. As our softball team is actually on the road right now, Montgomery, Alabama. They are down 4-0, to zero, top of the fourth inning. We also have our men's lacrosse team who is on the road. Men's lacrosse, if you did not know, they are making their first appearance in the AAC tournament since 2017. First time in the Jordan coach era. They will be playing. They will be playing Weber. Score right now is 1-0. First quarter. Actually, 1-1. One one. Score just happened. And, of course, who better? Thomas Van Alstine. So, Jason Dowers just got walked to first. You now have number eight, Slade Mink, who is going to be up to bat. We saw the highlight of Slade Mink with this beautiful catch in the outfield. And guess what he did yesterday? Saved another home run with another great catch. Slade Mink yesterday went one for five, had three RBIs. And Slade Mink will split and go past third base. That will move Jason Dower to second. Base hit for the Skyhawks. He will move to first. So now you have number 13, Alex Marquand. Alex Marquand, another person with a lot of versatility. You're starting to see a lot of different trends for Point University Baseball. One of them is versatility. Marquand can play first base. You can put him at catcher. You can ha also have him DH. He went two for four yesterday. Last pitch was called a strike. Alex Marquand, he is a senior from Columbus, Georgia, majoring in child and youth development. He has plans after graduating to get a master's in counseling and potentially play pro baseball with the season he is having. Sure, someone is giving him a look. Have a lot of players who definitely show so much potential to continue playing at the Point University. So right now you have a 2-1 count, one out. Slade Mink on first, Jason Dower on second, Marquand up to bat. And you have Silas Butler on deck. So Russell will take a peek at second. He'll take this pitch. Marquand will pop this up. So that is hitting the foul territory, but third baseman looking to get that foul ball. That will be an out for the quick FF5. So now you'll have number two, Silas Butler, who is going to be up to bat. Silas Butler, again, who is one of those newcomers on this team, and he has made his mark. Transferred from Cumberland University in Tennessee. 
center fielder who has come in. He's knocked a few of them out of the park. He's been so reliable in that center field. So Russell will take that pitch. That is going to be pitch on the outside for a ball. That would be a 1-0 count. The one thing that has not been talked about enough for Point University baseball is their depth. You can put a lot of people on this field. They're going to make a lot of contributions. You saw it in the University of Mobile series. You had players like Jordan Nathaniel who came in, didn't really appear much in the season. He came in, he made some runs, had some RBIs, and was just getting on base. Last pitch was called a strike. So for Russell, with two runners on base, want to make some consistency as that one is a swing and a miss. That would be a strike, one and one, two count. Want to retire this batter, get out of this inning, and give – Bruton Parker a chance to get some runs on the board. They do have one hit already. So I'll take that pitch. That will be a strikeout. Kind of a delayed call, but Skyhawks will end off this inning as they have no runs, one hit, and there will be two left on base. So as they take a break, we'll take a quick break as well here with Skyhawks Sports Network. As so we enter the top of the second, you will see Kernard Dawson is going to make another appearance at bat. As last at bat appearance, you had a 2-4 caught stealing, which means he will look to make another attempt, try to get on base. We have a 1-0 count. Lopez will make that pitch. That will be a 2-0 count for a ball. That one is hitting the foul territory. Lopez, he has made 11 appearances, 11, and he started 11 games. He has a record of 6-3. and three. He has pitched five complete games. Lopez using those weekend series. You'll see him on that game two as that starter. Cam Sowert usually will start game one, Dom. Lopez starting game two. It's that last pitch. Call the ball. Another update for the men's lacrosse game. Score is tied 2-2. Two to two. As Jamison Cross did score that last goal for the Skyhawks. So if Dawson with that last ball, he is going to be walked to first. So you'll have number 21, Michael Sun. Sun yesterday went. One for three. He was walked one time, struck out one time as well. Also had one run. Lopez, take this, this pitch. That will be called a strike. 0 1 count. Lopez already at 13 pitches, looking to throw his 14th. He has six strikes. So get the call. Sun looked to go for that bunt that was popped up in the foul territory. 0 2 count. It's 
Ismael Lopez takes the pitch. That is going to be hit right down the middle. Splitting between short and second and right pass. So that'll be the second hit of the game, making him one for one on the day. Look at Lopez, has an ERA of 322. And has 41 strikeouts on the season. Second leading pitcher with strikeouts as Cam Sowert has 96. So as Brood Parker went for that bunt, that is hitting the foul territory. 0-1 count. So if Dawson on second, Sun on first. Still no outs in this inning. Now Lopez getting ready for this next pitch. He'll take a peek at second. Last pitch will be called a ball, 1-1 one, one count. As you have Jacob Mantu, who is up to bat right now. He went one for four yesterday, struck out twice. If you're Lopez, you want to make sure to keep him off the bases. This man too went for that bunt again. That is also hitting the foul territory. As a reminder, Bruton Parker, they're still a team that is fighting to make sure they can get themselves into that SSAC tournament, but also fight to steal one on the road. They've played against some tough teams this season. Again, they beat Loyola, one of the top ranked teams in the conference. This man tooth will pop that to the infield. Mason Davis will get that out. That'll be the first out of this inning. Now batting, number 22, Jordan Ron. So now Jordan Run up to bat. Jordan Run went 0 for 4 yesterday, struck out twice. So if you're Jordan Run, seeing a new pitcher, you wipe out whatever happened yesterday. And you try to get something going today. For Lopez, you continue what you're doing. Where it's higher the batter. Go ahead and get out of his inning. As he'll take a peek at second. Take the pitch. Great hit, but that is going to be hitting the foul territory. So that is 0-1 count. So as he takes the pitch, that is also hitting the foul territory. Another fun fact about Dom Lopez, he is from Lone Beach, California. Long ways away from home. Have a few guys from the California area. Adam Castillo, pitching coach, is also from the California area. Former pitcher for Point University. That one looks like it will be popped in the left field. Slade, meet counts under that. That will be another out. No runners will advance. So now you have two outs on the board. And you have number 16, Jack Morris, who is coming up to bat. 16, Jack Morris. Look at some more players that is from the California area that will be recognized today. You also have Gene Aberrett from San Bruno, California. So if you're a family member or a friend of Lopez or Aberrett, we appreciate their contribution. We are glad that you get to watch and tune in and see what they do every time they step on the field. Last pitch was called a ball. Brings to a 1-0 count. Right now, Bruin Parker sitting at two hits. So take this pitch here. Dower. As he'll... Connected to first, that will be a quick 5-3 put out, and that will end the inning. No runs put on the board. Keeps it at a scoreless. You have no runs, one hit, and two left on base. So as they take a quick break, we're going to take us a quick break as well here with Skyhawk Sports Network.
All right, number 18's rushing the ball. And it is a touchdown for Maddie Motts. This game's tied 66. Ooh. Toss. And that's got to be a complete. So as we enter the bottom of the second inning, you have number one, Kenny Jackson, who's up the bat. So as you have a 2-1 count on the board right now, look at Kenny Jackson yesterday's. If you did not see that home run on the stream or did not check it out on Facebook or Twitter slash X, sorry, still getting used to that adjustment. Kenny Jackson with a beautiful home run to the right field yesterday. He went three for five, three runs. Also had a double as well yesterday. So with that, his first appearance on first base will be from a walk. And now you're going to have number 33, Zeb Bear, one of the other seniors from Auburn, Alabama, that is going to be honored today. Hey. Zeb Bear, yesterday went one for two. He had two runs, two RBIs, and he was walked twice. So Russell will take this pitch. That will be called a strike, 0 1 count. So for Russell, so far, he has thrown 24 pitches, 12 strikes. So he'll take this next pitch. That will be on the outside for a ball, make it a 1-1 one -one count. Again, Baird is going to be one of the seniors that will be honored today. Has his family in attendance. Fun fact. One of his favorite memories as a Skyhawk is beating Kenny Jackson in 2K. Kenny Jackson will still, so successfully still, and on that wild pitch, that will. He thought about going to third, but will stay at second instead. So with the 2-1 count on the board, no outs. Baird at bat, Jackson on second, Russell taking a peek at second. Throwing it inside, that will be a 3-1 count So for Russell. 
looking to start throwing some strikes. Try to keep Zed Barrett off the bases. As he'll take this pitch. Barrett will pop that into the right field. Right fielder looking to try to camp under that. That will be an out. Make it the first out of this inning. Now you have number three, Mason Davis, who's going to be coming up to bat. Mason Davis, infielder who you can catch either on second base or third. Play the mixture of it. Mason Davis did not get a hit yesterday, looking to get on base today, get his momentum going for this weekend. Overall, Mason Davis has been a great contributor. He's actually one of the newcomers that came in, and his experience has really helped out with this depth of Point University. Right now, he has 31 hits on the season, 22 runs. He's had, he has six doubles, three home runs, 26 RBIs, and he's been walked 13 times. His last pitch was called a strike, 1-1 one, one count. As Russ will take this next pitch. Thrown on the far inside, that will be a ball, 2-1 count. It's Brandon Russell. Junior out of Freeport, Bahamas. Previous school was in was from Montreat College, school in the North Carolina area in the AAC. So he's also one of those players that has some experience with playing in multiple conferences. Point University is a former member of the AAC Appalachian Athletic Conference. Again, Point University and Bruton Parker are no strangers to each other. Even in non-conference play, Point did face off against them. A few people who worked on the staff last year remember some of those games. As that will be popped into the outfield. Center fielder looking to camp under that. That will happen. Kenny Jackson making his way to third. Great eye. Now batting number 11. So now you have number 11, Sam Baker. Beautiful hit he had in the left field. He had a double on that. Sam Baker yesterday went three for four with one run. So as that last pitch was called a ball. Sam Baker is also one of those players. When he gets a hit, and he uses his legs. It is a very dangerous game you're playing. So he goes for that check swing. Umpire would check with the one on first base. Not called a strike. So, 2 0 count on the board, two outs. It's always lovely sometimes in certain situations having people who have, a, have the knowledge of the game, especially in our press box. Our PA announcer today is Mitchell Crane. If you've not seen him, he's also a Point University swimmer. As Sam Baker automatically knew that was going to be a ball, he's just going to make his way to first base. That's a ball. That's a different kind of walk to first base if I've seen it. So now you're going to have a quick mound talk. So as they have a mound talk, we'll take a quick break with Skyhawk Sports Network.
So now you have Danny Gonzalez who is up to bat on base right now with that ball and that wild pitch. Kenny Jackson looking to steal and go home. That is going to be safe. First run of the game. Skyhawks will take the lead. And also with that, Sam Becker will make his way to second. So if that wild pitch. And Danny Gonzalez looking to try to split. That will be the out to end this inning. So as they do end the inning, Skyhawks do take the lead at the bottom of the second. So with that 6-3 put out, we're going to take us a quick break with run, run, no hits, and one left on base. You will have, you'll have leading off at the top of the third. It will be... Kendall Wade, sorry about that. Kendall Wade will be leading off, so we'll be right back here with Scott Sports Network. So you have Kendall Wade, who is leading off this inning. Kendall Wade went one for four yesterday. Struck out one time. Right now, you have a 2-0 count. You have a quick update at the moment. Men's lacrosse is down 8-2. Kendall Wade will get that hit into left field, going right past Jason Dower, and that will get him his first base hit of the game. Make that hit number three. So now you're back at the top with number 18, Carson Kirby. So as Lopez will take this pitch, Kirby going for that bunt. That goes down the line, but it does go into foul territory. He'll have to come back for that. Kirby so far is 0 for 1 on the day. Lopez. Stone 28 pitches in two innings. Just walked one batter. So it's now Lopez. Getting ready to take this next pitch. He'll get the signal. Look to go for that bun as well. That is also in foul territory. So Lopez, he'll take this pitch. Chipped away. I want to give a quick shout out to all of our Skyhawk Sports Network viewers that have tuned in all year. 
this is our this has been our first year with rebranding with the name of Skyhawk Sports Network, and it's worked well. Marquand going to try to throw the second. Not quick enough as Wade will steal. So last pitch was called a ball, one-two count, and then Wade did steal second. But, yes, want to give a quick shout-out to everybody that's tuned in this year so far. It's been a great rebrand. And also, if you did not know, we started the year off hitting 1K subscribers on YouTube. So the growth of this channel has been beautiful. Low pass with the right idea, trying to catch Wade slipping. Baker was ready, but just a second too short. So the pickoff attempt, unsuccessful. So as that is hitting the foul territory, now he will be coming back. Keep it at a one-two count. So Lopez taking the peek at second. He'll now take the pitch. It's now Mason Davis. We'll connect with Danny Gonzalez for the put out. 4-3 put out. That will be the first out of this inning. That will retire the batter. Now you have number seven, your shortstop, Kyron Coleman. Also, quick shout out to Bruton Parker. Traveled really well with the fans this weekend for this weekend series. Always appreciative to see when both teams can travel well and pack this field out. Lopez will take that pitch that is hitting the foul territory. 0-1 count. Trent Shepard from the dugout will step in. Keep it rolling any further. So now Lopez takes this pitch. That will also be fouled off. 0-2 count. So with Coleman at bat, Wade on third. That is a swing and a miss. That will be the strikeout for Dom Lopez that he needed. First strikeout of the game. Now batting, number six, Kate so Coleman, who got a hit with his last at bat, now will be retired. Going one for two on a day. So now you'll have... Number six of Tate Worrell, who is up to bat. He is 0 for 1 on the evening so far. Last pitch was called a ball, 1-0 count. Remember, if you want to keep up with all Skyhawk athletics, go to pointskyhawks.com. Check out the photo galleries that we've taken at home events. Those photo galleries and all those photos courtesy from Skyhawk Sports Network, all of the talented people that we have on the staff take some amazing pictures as Warrell will pop that in the center field Silas Butler will catch that for the FA and that will end off this inning Bruton Parker ends off with no runs one hit and one left on base so we're going to take a quick break here with Scott Sports Network
So, as we start off this bottom of the third, you do have Jason Dower, who's up the bat. You have an 0-2 count at the moment. And so, as he did go for that check swing. Home plate umpire did check with the one on first base. That is called a ball. So, now you have a 1-2 count. Russell so far has thrown 40 pitches. About to throw his 41st. That will be thrown on the outside for a 2-2 two -two count. And that is going to be swung on and missed for a strikeout. That will be the first out of this inning. Jason Dower will be retired. Now you have number eight, Slade Mink, coming up the bat. Number eight, Slade Mink. Your senior out of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. That is in the bottom part of Mississippi on the coast. Utility player. He'll be one of the seniors that will also be honored today. He was one of the newcomers on his team last year, and he's just taking a big jump this year as he is the leader in the team with hits. That one almost knocked off Slade. That will be called a ball, 2-0 count. As you do here in the background, we do have some dogs in the building today. Slade Mink, as he will pop that into left field. That will be camped under for the second out. So F9 put out. Now you have number 13, Alex Marquand, who's going to be up to bat. So a quick update from our softball game in Montgomery, Alabama. Softball did drop that first game they will have game two starting approximately in the next 20 30 minutes first pitch called a strike 0-1 count So, 1-1 one, one count. Also want to go back to the point earlier. You also want to keep out our points, Gohawk Athletics, but you do not want to go to the website. Go to Point Skyhawks on Instagram. So, as Alice Marquand will hit that into center field, that will be a hit for this inning, and he will end up on base. And with that, that now means you'll see number four pinch running. That will be Hunter Neumeyer pinch running for Alice Marquand on first. So it's Alice Butler up to bat. Hunter Neumeyer pinch running on first. Skyhawks with their second hit. Two outs in the inning. Russell now looking to see if he can retire Silas Butler for a second time on the day. That first pitch was called a strike, 0-1 count. I want to give a quick shout-out to Krispy Kreme, as that is who is sponsoring our hunger today with Skyhawk Sports Network. Last pitch was hitting the foul territory. At Skyhawk Sports Network, we have... We've seen it all this year. We've worked in a lot of different weather. Hot, cold, rainy, windy. Starting off the season and starting off the year was probably the hottest day that has been worked. So as the Skyhawks will end off this inning, it will be no runs, one hit, and one left on base. We'll talk about those conditions after this quick break here with Skyhawks Sports Network.
So it's Kennard Dawson was at bat. He did pop that up to second. So with that first out, you do have number 21, Michael Sun. So right now you have the weather a bit cloudy. It's the sun still out. Pitch was called a strike. So I have a 1-1 one, one count. So Lopez, so he took that pitch. That is going to be popped into left field. Slade meet camps under that. That will be another out. Now So now with two outs on the board, you have Mantu who is up to bat. Low pass will take that pitch, thrown on the outside. That will be a 1-0 count. That was called a ball. Man tooth. Oh for one on a day. Great hit, but that is going to be hit into foul territory. Brings it to a two one count. So as that last one's hitting the foul territory, you have a 2-2 two, two count. 2-2 two, two count, two outs on the board. Deuces are wild. So it's Mantooth. Sam Baker getting at the first. He will be called out for the 6-3 put out. That is the athleticism by Sam Baker that we have talked about. So as they will end off this inning, just as you thought they would get that base hit, it is... No runs, no hits, none left on base. So quick inning for Don Lopez and for the Skyhawks. We're going to take a quick break here with Skyhawks Sports Network. And so, welcome to the bottom of the fourth inning. You have number one, Kenny Jackson, who is going to be leading off. Last time he was at bat, he was walked. First pitch is called a strike. He did swing at that. Skulls right now do have two hits on the day. So, as Kenny Jackson does pop that into the infield, that is going to be the first out. So now you'll see 
Number 33, Zed Baird, who's going to be coming up to bat for your Skyhawks. See, so hear some cheers in the background. You do have Zed Baird, who does have his family and his friends in attendance today for Senior Day. It's always a beautiful sight when I get to see players have their family come in. And so as he'll look to make that throw, Zed Baird does make it safe. That will be counted as a base hit. That is just the speed of Zed Baird. So now you have number 33, number three, Mason Davis, who is up the bat. So as that last pitch was called a ball, 1-0 count. Look at Russell right now. Brandon Russell has pitched three and a half innings. He's given up three hits, one run. And so you'll have Zeb Baird, who is going to be retired, but that is going to get Mason Davis on base. So as we did have a quick discussion of what just happened, 
the call was made after a discussion. We'll definitely have to check that one right at, right after the game just to confirm. But it's going to keep it at three hits apiece. You have a 1-1 one, one count. Dom Lopez is on the mound. Ron is at bat. Ron will hit that into center field. Silas Butler camping under that. That will be an F8 put out. First out of the inning. And it's going to bring up number 16, Jack Morris. Right now, Don Lopez has thrown 53 pitches. Has one strikeout, Jack Morris. It's 0 for 1 on the day that last one was fouled off. 0-1 count. It's the Skyhawks who do lead 1-0 in this game at the moment. Morris getting that into right field does find that space. As he'll look to advance the second, that will be a double for him. Make him one for two on the day. So that was a, found it at the right spot to where Kenny Jackson was not able to get there on time. And it's like you're going to see a pinch runner on second. That will be number two of J. Reed Phillips. He is a sophomore out of Bristol, Georgia. Previous school is Andrew College. So you have number 13, Kendall Wade, who is up the bat. Right now, Kendall Wade is one for one on the day. Last pitch was called a ball, 1-0 count. Wade looking to get on base again. His lightning speed. As he is going to pop that up into the infield. Mason Davis calling off. He'll look to get that. And that infield fly will make sure to bring it to two outs. Now batting for the Barons, number 18, Carson Kirby. So now number 18, Carson Kirby is going to be up to bat. Carson Kirby so far is 0 for 2 on the day. Both popped out in the outfield. Has not been struck out yet, but would love to get his first hit on the evening. Bruton Parker does have four hits right now. Swing and a miss. That is an 0-1 count. What you have to love about Don Lopez as a pitcher is he's very confident in his game, but he's, his humility as a person and how he carries himself is why he is so much liked by his peers and well respected by his coaches and on that pitch that will advance Morris to third excuse me Phillips because Phillips is the pinch runner so that is a 1-1 one -one count So Phillips on third, Kirby at bat. Two outs on the board. That is a swing and a miss, one-two count. Another thing you have to like about Dom Lopez is that watching him play, his composure is just, is just always calm. Great guy, but he keeps his composure at any time. Doesn't matter what situation of the game it is. He's going to try to do what he can. If he's in a sticky situation, he'll make sure he try to get out of it. Last pitch was called a ball. 2-2 two -two count, two outs on the board. As they look to get the signal from Marquand. Takes a nod. He'll look to take this pitch here. This would be his 57th pitch. That is going to be hit to Danny Gonzalez. That would be an out. That will retire that batter, and that will end off this inning. So... So as we end off this inning with no runs, one hit, and one left on base, we'll be right back here with Skyhawk Sports Network.
So now up the bat, as we enter the bottom of the fifth, you have number 11, shortstop from Prattville, Alabama, Sam Baker. Sam Baker was walked last at bat. That first pitch is going to be called a ball, 1-0 count. As mentioned on yesterday's broadcast, we've seen a few accolades in this program so far. John Tyler surpassing 200 wins. Cam Sowert breaking program record with 16 strikeouts earlier in the season. Also a two-time SSAC Pitcher of the Week, Kenny Jackson, SSAC Player of the Week earlier in the month. And Skyhawks, nine-game winning streak at the moment. What's helped them out, they've been on multiple game, winning, multiple winning streaks this season. As Sam Baker looking to get to first on that. He is going to be out. So great speed, but even better by Bruton Parker by retiring him to not get him on base. So they have number 10, Danny Gonzalez, who is up to bat for the Skyhawks. Danny Gonzalez, infielder, junior infielder out of Havana, Cuba. So this baseball team, you have a lot of guys who are – you don't have as many local guys. You have a lot of guys from different places. You have people like Kenny Jackson from the Virgin Islands. And Danny Gonzalez will make his way to first as he was hit by pitch on that. Yeah, players like Hunter Neumeyer from Utah. You got players from Florida. You have a few local players, Alex Marquand, 45 minutes down the road, Columbus. Then you have players who are from the California area. Dominican Republic. So you see it's just a different mixture of guys coming from different places. If you can ball, they'll go find you. And that was really the mindset with the recruiting this past year. They wanted to find ballers, give them opportunities to make a contribution to this team and add into some depth. As Danny Gonzalez looking to get chased down, trying to beat him with their speed. And he will be tagged out. As Russell had the right idea, made it work. So Jason Darrow is up the bat. You now have Danny Gonzalez off the base. That was also called a strike. So 0-1 count, two outs. Russell has thrown 63 pitches, now throwing a 64th. Dower getting that right to second. For the 4-3 putout, that will end off this inning. Bruton Parker will be coming up in the top of the six with no runs, no hits. And none left on base for the Skyhawks. You'll have Kyron Coleman, who is going to be leading off in the next inning. We'll take a quick break here with Skyhawks Sports Network.
So as Kyron Coleman is at bat, and that is going to be hitting the foul territory. So Danny Gonzalez is going to get that out first out of the inning. If you not, did not see yesterday, great highlight by Danny Gonzalez. That was going in foul territory in the dugout. He just stuck his arm out for that out. So the inning has already started. One batter is already retired. You now have Tate Worrell, who is at bat. Lopez looking to take a 63rd pitch. That is going to be called a strike. 0-1 oh, count. Right now, Tate Worrell, 0 for 2 on the day. And with 0 for 2, we do have a 0-2 count. And that will retire another batter. Swing and a miss, strikeout. That would be Dom Lopez's second strikeout on the evening. You'll now have number 8 of Kennard Dawson, who is coming up to bat for the Barons. Dawson so far is 0 for 1 on the day. Yesterday he had three hits, went three for four. Looking to try to add his first one today. Get the Barons on board as Lopez will take that pitch. That will be called a straight 0-1 count. Barons right now do have four hits. As he'll take that pitch. And goes right past Mason Davis. That will be his first hit on the day. Now batting, number 21, Michael Dunn. So as you have number 21, your designated hitter, Michael Sun. As we talked about, Kennard Dawson looking to get his first hit. He did get that on that. That was officially scored. Dawson looking to steal. And he will still successfully be safe. Marquand did connect with Sam Becker looking to catch Dawson still in. So with the one one count to have a quick stop at the play. Marquand talking to his pitcher. As you see, we did not mute this stream. So, of course, you did hear our Skyhawk Sports Network members having a bit of fun today. It's what the goal is when we come to work. We like to have fun. Eat donuts, have fun, still do our work, and get it done at the same time. It's what we're good for here. So the 3 1 count, two outs on the board. Dawson on second. Sun at bat. Lopez takes a pick at second. He'll take that pitch. That is going to be called a strike, full count on the board. Michael Sun right now is one for two on the day. Look at potentially add his second hit. Starting to hear both dugouts make some noise, get into this game a lot more. As Sun is going to pop that. Sam Baker is going to call it off. That is going to be another out. That will retire this inning and end it off the right way. So, 
Bruton Parker did end up this inning with no runs, one hit, and one left on base. So we're going to enter the bottom of the inning with Slade Meek leading off, and we're going to take a quick break here with Skyhawk Sports Network. And so welcome back as we're at the bottom of the sixth. Yeah, Slade Meek leading off. As that last pitch was called a ball. It's going to be a 1-0 count. Slade Meek so far is one for two on the day. As Russell is going to be taking his 66th pitch on the evening. That's going to be hitting the foul territory. Makes it a 1-1 one, one count. Russell so far has thrown 33 strikes on the evening. As Meek gets that to Col Coleman. will connect on first for the quick 6-3 put out. So that will retire Slade Mink, and you will now have number 13, Alex Marquand, who is up to bat. Marquand so far is one for two. Brandon Russell has pitched five and a half innings, only given up one run, and has struck out three runners with three batters. So is Russell looking to take this pitch. That is called for a ball. So now Russell will take this next pitch. That thrown on the inside, that is going to be also called for a ball. Brings to a 2-1 count. As now update, we do have our softball team who has just now started game two. Alyssa Burroughs is going to be that starting pitcher for that game. So Marquand hit that into foul territory. A reminder that there is a chance that they will forego the senior day ceremony with it actually being maybe after the second game instead of the first. Still in the air at the moment, but right now that might be the plan as there could be some rain coming into the area. So... They might just want to get both of these games in. It's Marquand. 
going to hit that right to our second base to the second baseman. That will be a 4-3 put out. So Trent Shepard is going to be pinch hitting. Your senior from LaGrange, Georgia, another senior that will be honored today. So this will be his first appearance at bat today. Russell takes the 74th pitch. And his 39th strike with that last one. As he takes that pitch, that is going to be called a ball. Brings to a 1-1 count. So right now you have number one, Kenny Jackson on deck. You do have two outs on the board. Both been put outs. Let's wait for the check swing. Umpire at the home plate did check with the one on first base. That is called a ball. So it's Russell. Takes this next pitch. That is going to be popped. Great catch at third. That catch was by Tate Worrell. That is going to retire the batter. And that will end off the inning. So with that, you'll have Mantu Fields going to be leading off this next inning. We're going to take a quick break as we're going to be going at the top of the seventh here with Skyhawk Sports Network. So to lead off the top of the seven, if you have a pinch hitter, that is going to be number 23, Drew Damasi, junior out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Previous school was actually LaGrange College, so he has some familiarity with this area. LaGrange College, 20 minutes away from this area. As Lopez will take this pitch, it's going to be called a ball, 2-0 count. So as Lopez will take this pitch. That is going to be called a strike 2-1 count. It's now nice. Lopez getting ready to take this next pitch. Pitch called a ball. 3-1 count. Demasi. Taking his time. And that is going to walk Demasi to first. And that will bring Ron up to bat. Now batting, number 22, Jordan Ron. And with that, you will have a pinch runner on first. That pinch runner will be J. Reed Phillips. Sophomore out of Bristol, Georgia. And you'll have a quick mound talk, Coach Adam Castillo. Take a quick time. As they take quick time, we'll take a quick time as well.
So as Lopez threw that last pitch that was fouled off, that is going to bring it to an 0-1 count. Right now, this game is still at 1-0. Bruton Park with five hits. Point University with three. So that is going to be hit for the bunt. He will get that to first. He's going to be called out. That will successfully bring it for a sack bunt, but he will be out on that. That will advance J. Reed Phillips to second. Now batting, number 16, Jack Morris. So it's Lopez takes a peek at second. He'll take that pitch. That is going to be a strike. Oh, one count. One out on the board. You have Jack Morris, who is up to bat. One for two on the day. Dom Lopez has thrown 80 total pitches so far. Two strikeouts, walk two batters. So he'll take a peek at second. He'll take this pitch. That is hitting the foul territory. So now Dom Lopez with the 0-2 count. He'll take this pitch. That will be hit straight to Sam Becker. Sam Becker throwing it straight to first. So as J. Reed Phillips advances to third, Morris will be out. So 6-3 put out with an advance. So now you have a pitch, you have a Brandon Lawrence who is wearing number four today. As originally on the roster, you have Alex Munns, who wears number four, but Brandon Lawrence will be wearing that number today. So I have another pinch hitter. He is a junior infielder out of Conyers, Georgia. His previous school was Pasco Hernando State, which is the same place that Cam Sauer came from. Might have a bit of connection there, depending if they went there at the same time. Last pitch, caught a ball, 1-0 count. So if Lawrence at bat, runner on third, you have two outs. Pitch called a ball, brings it to a 2 0 count. Starting to see both dugouts really get into it. So take this pitch. So now you have a 3 0 count. So for Lopez, he'll get ready for this next pitch. And that will walk Lawrence to first. So now you have Lawrence on first, Phillips on third, and you have number 18, Carson Kirby, up to bat. And you'll have a re-enter of Kendall, Kendall Wade. Pinch running on first. So Carson Kirby right now is 0 for 3 on the day. But could this be the moment where he gets the first hit and potentially sends a runner home to tie this game? We will now see as Dom Lopez is going to take this next pitch. That is going to be hitting the foul territory. 0-1 oh, count. So as he took that next pitch, that was also hitting the foul territory. 0-2 count. 
So 0-2 count, two outs on the board. Atmosphere getting louder and louder. So for Dom Lopez, he gets the signal. As you have Phillips on third. That is fouled off. Keeps it at 0-2 count. So if Kirby at bat, Wade on first, Phillips on third, Kirby getting ready to take this next pitch from Lopez. Wade will steal. That is going to be stri a strikeout, and that is Dom Lopez finishing this game. Make that win number seven for him. That is how he pitched a complete game, like I said, with such a cool, calm, collected composure that he has. He just finished it off the right way. So we will be right back as we're going to have a quick signal. We'll talk to John Tyler to talk about senior. 